Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to make a quick video tonight about capturing two very cool objects which appear within the same field of view in my scope. These two objects are Open Cluster M52 and Hydrogen Emission Nebula NGC 7635, which is the Bubble Nebula. If I can frame both of these objects together, I think it's going to make for a very cool picture. In order to accomplish this, I'm going to be using two filters. On the stars, I'm going to use an IR cut filter uh, with shorter exposures at a lower gain setting. And then for the nebula itself, I'm going to be using a dual band filter, which includes a hydrogen alpha filter. And I'm going to be using longer exposures of three minutes at a higher gain setting of 240. So far, I've aligned my scope and I've focused it. My guiding seems to be off to a good start and I will be checking periodically on progress. I had a look at the data that I captured last night after work today, and I have to say I was pretty happy with what I saw. Uh, the approach of shooting the stars using 120 gain with the IR cut filter and shooting the nebula with a dual band filter and then combining the final image seems to have worked out really well. I like where the stars are, although uh, I could probably use a little bit more signal on some of the fainter ones because I want to show the nebula and I want it to shine through, I don't want to oversaturate the image with the stars. So I think I'm okay with uh, the stars that I have. But I would like to capture a little bit more data on the nebula itself. Tonight is supposed to be another beautiful night, so I'm going to run the scope again all night, but this time focusing on the nebula uh, with a dual band filter. It's been a few days since I captured M52 and the Bubble Nebula, and I finally got around to processing the images themselves. Just for fun, I thought I'd throw up a picture that I took last year. So this was uh, almost exactly a year ago now, last October. And uh, this represents 30 minutes of integration time taken with my Nikon D5200. Uh, this was also shot with a high contrast and uh, light pollution filter. And what's striking about this image is that uh, initially the colors were vastly off. So the colors produced by the high contrast light pollution filter uh, were into the uh, teal blue green uh, area. So I had to reprocess this image now that I've learned a little bit more about how to work with Cyril in order to uh, normalize the colors and bring out some of the detail. So uh, when I was taking this image, I was focusing on M52, obviously I didn't center it properly, and I did catch inadvertently part of the bubble nebula here. Uh, although I wasn't aware of it at the time, uh, now that I know a little bit more about Cyril, I was able to reprocess the image and I found uh, this little part of the nebula hiding in the corner. So as to the images I captured over the last number of days, on the first night, I captured two hours worth of data, and that is what this combined image is. And uh, we can see the granularity, uh, the noise in, in the image. The one on the right contains an additional uh, four hours of data for a total of six hours of integration time on the nebula. The integration time for the stars using the IR cut filter is one hour. So this image is uh, definitely less grainy a lot smoother. 
and I'm just going on to my processing. So uh, after stacking the Deep Sky Stacker, I ran uh, the image through Cyril, where I was able to uh, take out the green noise, take out the background uh, to a, a bit of a degree, leaving the, the nebulosity in place, uh, and then doing some initial stretching, as I find that doing that in Cyril actually helps quite a bit. Then I moved on to uh, GIMP, uh, so here we're looking at GIMP. This is uh, through the GIMP file that I was editing. Here is the layer that contains just the starts from the IR cut filter. Uh, and here is the uh, layer that contains the nebula. Uh, what I did with the nebula is I did some mild stretching uh, to uh, bring out some of the detail in the nebula. Uh, I added some sharpening in one of the layers to uh, bring out a little bit more of the detail as well. Uh, and then I did the same with uh, the nebula, uh, the dimmer nebula in the background. And then I overlaid the stars. So um, I really like this image. I think this is one of my favorite images to date. Um, and not just because it's the one I've most recently taken. Uh, I am very happy with how combining the stars with the nebula turned out. Uh, the only thing that I needed to do was uh, have a version of the nebula that contains stars so that I could overlay the stars from the IR cut filter so that I could overlay the stars exactly in the same positions as they were in the dual band filter. So yeah, there it is. Uh, combined M52 with uh, NGC7635. Thank you for watching and clear skies.